Hi, everybody. I'm Gus Johnson along with Billy Packer exclusively for CBS Sports. Dot com and the North Carolina Tar Heels have defeated the Virginia Tech Hokies. Tyler Hansborough, what a day. Another uh, spectacular performance by this junior. Well, it was an outstanding performance uh, by Tyler, and one of the things, Gus, I think for Roy Williams, a team that we saw practice yesterday was extremely tired. They've been through a brutal uh, stretch in their schedule, but I thought that they came out today and actually looked like they were pretty fresh. Stevenson, a uh, tremendous lift off the bench for this ball club, and now they've got an opportunity uh, to go the rest of the way. you got to assume Lawson's going to be back shortly. North Carolina may be ready to be, uh, have a resurgence back into the position where they can find themselves with the number one seed even. North Carolina improves their record to 24-2. and They're now 9-2 and in conference play. Lawson there, great point guard out of Maryland, missed his fourth straight game. But with him out of the lineup, other players have had opportunities to see extended minutes, and they're, they've also had opportunities to grow in different areas. I would agree with that completely, particularly Thomas, although I still think he needs to let the game come to him. He's playing crucial minutes right now and a lot of minutes. So when Lawson comes back, maybe instead of Lawson having to play the 34 to 36 minutes a game, He'll be able to drop out down in the NCAA tournament play under 30, knowing that Thomas can come in and do a good job. So it could help North Carolina in a way. Quentin Thomas with six rebounds today, a career high. That's all for now. Tune in next weekend for more college basketball action on CBS Sports. And throughout the week, stay on top of all the latest college basketball news and coverage from around the nation at CBSSports.com. For Billy Packer, I'm Gus Johnson for CBSSports.com.